everyone. This video will be discussing three uh, gangweed memes I've made in the past. And if you don't not familiar with gangweed, it's kind of uh, a criticism of society, but in a serious and uh, silly way at the same time. It kind of uses humor to diffuse uh, extremely real and extremely, um, I would say, traumatizing problems with society with the greater culture so um with that said this is going to be a lot of reading it's going to be a kind of boring video so if you aren't interested in that it's gonna be boring and depressing if you aren't interested in any of those two things you can skip on to the next one that's just a warning all right let's get started what is society you ask when you spend your entire childhood torn from your family, being driven miles to a government classroom, to sit in complete silence, pledging allegiance to the flag, never giving time to learn to socialize, make friends, or enjoy life. Because you must prepare for college. It's always college, college, college. Always was. Then the government forces you to spend $100,000 on college classes, driving miles back and forth, learning to be a therapist because you are depressed and lonely. Then after college, you're forced by the government to relocate across the country for a job, forever separating yourself from your family and friends, and what few real friends you're able to find. You spend your days driving miles back and forth to work, sitting in traffic, being paid to be a friend to hordes of other depressed, lonely, and isolated people who are broke due to paying bills into a zombie economy. Uh, destroyed by inefficiency, I should add ignorance here too, and taxation, which is paid to support you and the 13 years you spent in school, and a massive global military apparatus used to bomb and steal oil from sovereign nations on the other side of the world, sacrificing millions of innocent human lives, all to enable everyone to continue to drive in circles and keep the inhuman machine going, until we eventually burn every last gallon on earth and collectively die. So, uh, this is quite the serious meme. The background is kind of a joke, but um, the content is very real and very serious. Um, moving on. It only goes downhill from here. This one is about this culture of school. A common phrase throughout childhood. Let me try and get this. There we, there we go. Let me just scale this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for my unprofessionalism. Not. <laughs> a common phrase throughout childhood. It isn't what you know, it's who you know. Obviously suggesting a conspiracy of network individuals. Privileged individuals. Looting the public treasury and keeping relatively quiet about it. I knew it always... Well, not always, but... I knew it existed since probably the when I was mm, 13 or 14 I got kind of a I kind of smelled it I simply vastly underestimated the scale and depth of the dishonesty which is a tragedy happening to this day thinking it was confined to Yale Harvard New York City DC Cali etc 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 right the liberal elites but no it's the whole middle class that's the real tragedy of the situation Another common phrase, don't ever talk about money, which I found to be an interesting and on command, given our alleged free market capitalist society. <laughs> yeah, we live in a capitalist society, but don't ever talk about money. Alternative history, which school explicitly ignored, or led red pill history, if you will, has since shown this to be dead since the 1930s. That is correct. Capitalism is dead and buried. We live in a fascist society. Another common phrase, dehumanizing phrases, uh, dehumanizing the quote uneducated as subhuman and not worthy of basic dignity. These were your blue collar workers and tax slaves who were facing a lifetime of wage slavery for the crime of honest labor and not conforming to the political and college based class system. Ain't that the truth? Another common phrase, you still live at your parents, which is regularly and openly mocking these same wage slaves to their faces and gloating about your privileged access to the broken and inaccessible housing market. 
laughing about an honest full-time worker's financial inability to have a home to call their own. So this one's really uh, especially disgusting, especially um, shameful. And it's funny because um, Republicans don't do this anymore. And progressives still do all of the time. Very curious. The Marxists do love, love that one. That's for damn sure. And the socialists and Marxists love that one. Another common phrase, kindness is weakness, honesty is stupidity. These are all from public school, by the way. <laughs> In high school. No one tells you what they do, where they work, how they earn a living. They just say IT or sales. Everything is hidden. No intimacy shared because it is far too risky to show where and how you make your money. It is all conspiracy. It is all middle class conspiracy. And uh, at this point, the middle class don't even speak to the, to the working class. Um, they're not on speaking terms. Because the working class are disgusting beneath them and all these COVID lockdowns and stuff. It's really uh, kind of like a soft genocide of the working class is really what it is. Uh, yeah, America. Such passion. Uh, such such uh, such empathy from the, from the middle class, right? Another common phrase, laughing at and dehumanizing Chinese sweatshop workers. Ooh, this one was uh, pretty common. Less common now, because uh, <laughs> China's way richer than we are. Uh, uh, even the blue-collar wage slaves could participate in this one, since they were above the Chinese slaves in, quote, social status. So it made everyone happy. Yeah, good times had by all. Decades of slavery is hilarious. Oh, humanity, don't ever change. That was sarcasm, by the way. Today's common phrases. This is today now. These are the modern ones. If you want tax cuts or budget cuts, you're a fascist. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Fascists are known for their tax cuts, right? <laughs> or any other suggestions on partially dismantling the system of privilege and slavery. This is usually closely followed by fascist lives don't matter or kill your local fascist while claiming to have moral superiority. Mm. This is a favorite of the progressives. This is like the progressive mantra. But once again, the empathy is just off the charts. The empathy and the self-awareness. And probably worst of all, the one policy that would fix all of this almost overnight is UBI. Is generally regarded as fascist, of course. Meaning supporting it will get you assaulted or even killed in the future. Uh, a policy of equality, fairness, transparency, pan, uh, transparency, and free money is almost universally hated by these same people. Like, <sighs> once again, this is all the progressive middle class. Like, the Republicans may have uh, may have done one or two of these parts, one or two of these points. Uh, in the past Republicans used to uh, dehumanize the uneducated they used to do the you still love at your parents um, but I think they might have might, might have used to do the Chinese sweatshop workers but the progressives the progressive middle class they do all of them so wrapping it up and now with social media, you all deflect and blame capitalism for the surrounding poverty. Not surprising at all. Yep. Ain't that the truth? This is uh, this one here. Also, the dehumanization, the isolation of it. Also capitalism's fault, right? It's not public school. No, not at all. <laughs> no, it's capitalism, right? The... The socialist, robotic, mandatory public school system has nothing to do with it. And last but not least, this one I've done some videos on, so it'll sound uh, kind of familiar to me. This is about the, uh, the kit houses, but it's in meme form. My spouse is working class, just another oppressed taxpayer. 
And it's tragic, too. Her parents have two acres of undeveloped land, and in a free society, she could buy a home kit online for $25,000 that I would, of course, assemble for her. But because we live in a fascist dystopia, the state won't let us build on property we own. And there is zero financing for anything other than student loans, mortgages, and home equity. But there are trillions of dollars for that. Of course, because the Marxists control... The Marxists, fascists control the entire banking system. So we're forced into this grossly overpriced and broken rental market instead, just making things more distorted and more suffocating, adding to the pressure of the lack of housing supply. A bank will give us a $200,000 loan we can't afford to buy an existing home in an overinflated market, but would never loan us $20,000, 10 times less, to build a new home on land we already own. The whole system is fucked and needs to be burned down as soon as possible. Zoom on that one. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Meanwhile, millions of idiots throw trillions, middle class idiots throw trillions of dollars at stonks and lose their life savings over and over again. And we all think this is functional capitalism. So that is $180,000 of additional money sucked out of our family for no reason. Multiply that by 2.5 for interest, because you're adding 1.5x, on the 30-year mortgage, and you're looking at an additional $270,000 in interest for a total loan of $450,000. Now, if you earn $15 an hour and take home $10 an hour after taxes, that is an additional 45,000 hours of labor you have to do for no reason. Or... Uh, 1,125 weeks or 22 years of your life. Five days a week, no vacations. Without these state restrictions or tax, you have uh, 25K times 2.5 is $62,000. At $15 an hour, because once I said no tax, that's 4,200 hours, ten over 10 times less. Or 104 weeks, or about two years. So you have your home paid off in two years. There, uh, therefore, with this one unnecessary and harmful regulation, government is stealing 20 years worth of labor from you. 20 years of your life is stolen because some fucking bureaucrat tells you no. And here's the sickest part. This last paragraph is the most disgusting, gut-wrenching part. And if you try and build that home on your own land without permission from this privileged fucking bureaucrat, this New World Order prick, this Marxist prick, who, mind you, this Marxist prick who, mind you, has covered essentially all of nature in massive asphalt parking lots, right? They care about nature so much, but they cover the entire fucking globe or the entire fucking nation in asphalt their asphalt but oh oh for you for you to build a, a 1200 square foot home in your fucking backyard well guess what that's hurting nature we can't allow nature to be hurt the won't someone please think of the grass won't someone please think of the the shrubs unfucking believable i digress well if you try and do this the state will send out men with guns to your land, evict you from your home that you paid for, and you get to watch the government bulldoze your home before they send you to prison. All of this paid for using your tax dollars stolen from you. That, my friends, is fucking America. That is fascist America in a meme. This is fascism. This, none of this is capitalism. Capitalism is private property, which means get the fuck off my property. Mind your own business. I'm so sick of these fucking Marxist fascist pricks. It's over. Nobody wins. I now have a Patreon, so feel free to donate by checking out the link in the description. 
If you want to see a new and better world come to fruition, as I do, then like, share, and subscribe. You can find an incredible amount of math, knowledge, and 3D renders by clicking on the channel name. And remember, we need you to help spread this vision across the internet for all to see and become familiar with. Let us build this new world together.